So the fourth method I want to go over is called board account or the point system method for finding the winner of election. In board account, points are awarded to each candidate based on the number of votes they receive at each ranking level. First choice votes earn more points than second choice votes. Second choice votes earn more than third choice, etc. Typically, the number of choices is equal to the number of points for each first choice vote. So for instance, in this candy example, we have four choices or four um, candidates running, the four candies. So each first choice vote will be worth four points. Each second choice vote is going to be three. We just go down to one. Third choice would be worth two points. Fourth choice would be worth one point. You would always make sure that everybody gets, even the fourth choice, the last choice, gets at least one point. So that's why we start as the, whatever the number of choices is, that's the number of points for first choice. Now it doesn't have to be this way, but this is the most common method. All right, so let's look at this for um, a particular candidate in this candy election. Let's start with peanut butter cups. What we need to do is organize a calculation of all of the first choice votes, all of the second choice votes, all of the third choice votes, all of the fourth choice votes for peanut butter cups. And we're going to add all of those points together in the end. So let's take a look. With peanut butter cups, we're going to start with first choice votes. So let's look at our first choice votes. And I'm just going to do this column right here. So peanut butter cups occur twice in terms of first choice. These five people voted first as their first choice for peanut butter cups, and then these six people voted that way as well. So there were actually 11 votes that get four points each. So four points for every first choice vote, and since there were 11 votes for first choice for peanut butter cups, it would be four times 11, or 44 point, points. Now, typically, I would wait to calculate that. I just wanted to show that it would be 4 times 44. But typically, I'd wait and do everything out before I do the calculations. But we start with 4 points for every first choice vote. Now we're going to go to second choice votes. Every second choice vote gets 3 points. And let's count up how many votes there are in, as the second choice. So if we look at the second choice column, there are no peanut butter cups in the second choice column. Peanut butter cups is not there. So there were zero points for peanut butter cups in second choice. So they're not going to get any points for being in as a second choice for anyone. Then we look at third choice votes. So if we look at the third choice votes all the way across, we do see peanut butter cups coming up once. Seven people, whoops, looked a little bit, I meant to you not using the highlighter. Seven people voted for peanut butter cups as their third choice. So two points for every one of those third choice votes. So seven times two points. And then finally, we're going to look at fourth choice votes. So we're going to look at the last column of votes here for peanut butter cups. And peanut butter cups come in twice in that last location. These eight people voted for peanut butter cups last and four more, so that's a total of 12 votes in that last position. So one point for every one of those 12 votes. So remember I had for four point votes, I had 44 points altogether because there were 11 votes. Then I had zero for uh, second choice votes. Um, I had 14 because 2 times 7 is 14 points for um, the second, ch third choice votes rather, and then fourth choice votes, one point each would be 12. So you actually technically multiply all of those and then finally add them all up. So 44, 0, 14, and 12 give me 70 points. So the idea here is that we have 70 points for peanut butter cups. And what we're going to do in the board account system is do the same process for each one of the candies. So we'll get a point score for each candy, and then whoever has the highest point score, because the higher point score would mean they were ranked higher, would win the election. Um, now it's important that you organize yourself in some ways. And so I kind of organized it by writing it down, points and votes. 
that's a good strategy. So I'm going to show on the next slide that I do that carefully for each candidate. All right, so we know peanut butter cups had 70 points. Now let's do the same thing for Kit Kats, Snickers, and M&Ms. I'm going to go a little faster here. Um, one thing I like to do is set myself up because I know I'm going to be looking at four points, three points, two points, and one point for each of the places. And what I can then do is just concentrate, once I have that part of the, the formula set up, I can concentrate on where those votes are. So four points for first place votes or first choice votes. So are Kit Kats anywhere in the first location? Yes, Kit Kats, there's eight votes in first place or first choice, I should say. And then look at second choice. I've got Kit Kats here in second choice, and then these Kit Kats are in second choice, so that's 12 votes. And then third choice, I've got six and four. So Kit Kats were in, uh, there were 10 votes for Kit Kats in third place. And then if you look at that, I've now circled everyone. There are zero votes left in the fourth choice location. Now, I would recommend using an eraser to erase these or um, because we are going to do this for the other candidates. So you want to make sure that you um, whatever when you're marking up your, your preference schedule that you can erase and be able to see it again because you don't want to mark it up permanently because it'll get confusing for the other candidates. So once you have that all written out, then just do the calculation. And if you have a scientific calculator, you can literally go 4 times 8 plus 3 times 12 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 0, and you get that Kit Kats had a total point value of 88 points. So, so far, Kit Kats is ahead. Let's do it for Snickers. 4 points. Again, I'm going to set myself up. 3 points. 2 points for third choice and one point for fourth choice. All right, so I'm going to circle Snickers. We have four people that voted for Snickers first, so four votes get four points apiece. And then Snickers, we had six people vote for Snickers in second place or second choice. And then third choice, we had eight and five, so that would be 13 people voted for Snickers in third place or third choice. And finally, seven people voted for Snickers in last or fourth choice. Again, throwing that into a scientific calculator, 4 times 4 plus 3 times 6 plus 2 times 13 plus 1 times 7. Altogether, that ends up giving us 67 points. So, so far, Kit Kats is still ahead. Uh, Peanut Butter Cups is bringing up second and Snickers is third. But let's look at M&Ms. And I'm going to erase my markings there so it makes it a little bit easier for me to see M&Ms. All right, start with four points, three points. I'm going to set myself up here so that I don't, I can look at one thing at a time, two points and one point. All right, now I can just concentrate on where the votes come from. All right, so starting with first choice, M&Ms. There are seven M&Ms with first choice there. So seven votes each get awarded four points each. Second place, we've got eight votes in second choice here and four more. That would be 12 votes in second choice location. Third choice, uh, nobody. No, there were no M&Ms in third choice. So zero votes there. And then uh, for last choice, we had five M&Ms in this last position and six more. That would be 11 votes. So doing the calculation, again with the calculator, 4 times 7 plus 3 times 12 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times 11 comes out to 75 points. So when we compare these four candidates, the candidate that had the most votes was Kit Kats. So Kit Kats wins the board account election system. There is one thing else I wanted to say about board account. It's pretty intense because you have to do every single vote, every single place for every single candidate. So there's a lot going on in terms of numbers here, and it can be easy to lose one. There is one way you could check yourself as you're going along, and that is by counting up the votes before you do the calculation. So 
all 30 kids should be voting so when we and for every candidate so if we look at KitKats, there were eight votes 12 more is 20 10 more is 30 and zero is still 30. so there were 30 votes there i know i got everybody i can check snickers too four votes plus six is 10 plus 13 is 23 plus 7 is 30. so again 30 votes so i know i didn't miss anything for uh, set sorry seven 12 more is 19, 0 is still 19, and then 11 is 30. So that's one way you could check. And then, of course, just double checking your calculations by doing it again in your calculator 4 times 8 plus 3 times 12 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 0 for Kit Kats, etc. So those are things to watch out for with the board account system.